The topic today is miscellaneous hypnotics, which are used for the induction and maintenance of sleep. Of the CNS depressants, this video discusses the Z drugs like Ambien, melatonin agonists, and orexin receptor antagonists. The neurotransmitter GABA accounts for 50% of all inhibitory activity in the brain and spinal cord. GABA receptors are found on chloride channels on neurons, and when GABA binds to its receptor, chloride is allowed to flood into the cell, causing the resting membrane potential to become more negative and hyperpolarize, making an electrical signal or action potential less likely. These chloride channels also have binding sites for benzodiazepines and barbiturates, as well as other hypnotic drugs like zolpidem, which falls under the category of Z drugs. When these drugs bind to their binding site on the chloride channel, the inhibitory actions of GABA are enhanced. The chloride channel opens to a greater extent, or for a longer period of time, to increase CNS depression. The Z drugs are non-benzodiazepine hypnotics and chiefly include azopiclone, zaloplon, and zolpidem. Zaloplon is quite short-acting and helps those having difficulty falling asleep. Zolpidem is the most widely prescribed hypnotic and comes in many dosage forms, including oral tablets, extended release oral tablets, oral spray, and sublingual forms. Side effects for the Z drugs include dizziness, anterograde amnesia, which is impaired ability to form new memories, confusion, hallucinations, and possibly somnambulism or sleepwalking. In most cases, all three of these drugs are favored over benzodiazepines for sleep because they cause less severe adverse effects, including lower tolerance and dependence and cause little disruption to the normal sleep cycle. These non-benzodiazepine Z drugs bind to alpha-1 subunits of the GABA-A receptors on pentameric chloride ion channels to increase chloride channel opening, which decreases reticular activating system activity in the brainstem, which in turn causes a strong hypnotic effect. Unlike benzodiazepines, the Z drugs are weak anxiolytics, weak muscle relaxants, and weak anticonvulsants. The pineal gland, found in the epithalamus of the diencephalon, produces melatonin. The production of melatonin is stimulated by darkness and inhibited by light. Melatonin production not only helps give you a feeling of sleepiness, but also functions as an antioxidant within the body. It's important to understand that melatonin acts as a sleep and body clock regulator and not as a sleep initiator. Melatonin may also act to delay the onset of puberty. Remelteon is a melatonin agonist and helps promote sleep onset. It should be taken 30 minutes before bedtime for the best therapeutic effect. There are a number of over-the-counter and herbal supplements that are available for public use as hypnotic drugs. These include the over-the-counter medications, which are antihistamines, or H1 receptor antagonists. Remember, histamine is stimulatory in the brain, so blocking it has a CNS depressing effect and makes one sleepy. Common meds included in this category include doxylamine and diphenhydramine. Two herbal products, popular, popular for their anti-anxiety and sleeping aid effects, are kava and valerian. With these, there's natural, these are natural products and they may still cause various adverse drug reactions and may interact with other CNS depressants. Before prescribing CNS depressants, it's important to obtain a full medical history, including any herbal supplements the patient may be taking. Depending upon the situation, certain drugs or classes of drugs are preferred over others. Mild hypnotics, such as zolpidem or azopiclone, quicken or ease the process of falling and staying asleep, while having less potential for abuse compared to benzodiazepines. For those with insomnia from anxiety or stressful situations, the intermediate-acting benzodiazepines, such as temazepam or astazolam, relieve the anxiety, and also have a hypnotic effect. For sedation, 
benzodiazepines at a dosage of one-third to one-half of their hypnotic dose may be used. As mentioned earlier, a benzodiazepine in a lower dose may be given after a heart attack to reduce the patient's desire for physical activity, so the patient will rest, so the heart can repair itself. If sleep induction is the issue, where the patient is simply having trouble falling asleep and not maintaining sleep, Zaloplon or Remelteon may be recommended. Suvorexant and Lemborexant are orexin receptor antagonists used in the treatment of insomnia. The orexin neuropeptide signaling system promotes wakefulness. By blocking the receptors for orexin, these antagonists suppress the wake drive in individuals to cause sleep. Another CNS depressant, Tazimelteon, is a selective melatonin agonist used to treat non-24-hour sleep-wake disorder, or N24SWD. This condition is a disruption in circadian rhythms due to misalignments with the light-dark cycles and most often occurs in blind individuals. Now for some questions. Please pause the video and think of your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.